Hello, Brickstark here, and today I'm reviewing the LEGO Star Wars Hailfire Droid from 2015. It has one minifigure, two droids, 163 pieces, and retailed for $20 in the United States. Here's the Clone Lieutenant, and this figure feels very out of place in this set, because there's not a little build for him to fight, it's just this one blaster versus the two super battle droids and the hellfire droid and I find it kind of wacky however what I do like about this figure is that you get it in a cheap set because this figure is not exclusive it was previously some sort of exclusive character that came in a poly bag I'm not too sure how you got it maybe it was a toy fair thing but I am sure that a lot of people who got this figure from Toy Fair or wherever was, were probably not very happy when this figure showed up in this set. However, if you didn't get the poly bag, then it is a nice completion to these Phase 1 ranks. Because you had the Sergeant, Commander, and Captain from 2013. And it was just nice to finish the ranking. The markings on this are very much like a 501st Trooper. Which you can play, you can role play and pretend this is like a second in command to Captain Rex or something. That's it for the clone lieutenant. Here's the super battle George. You do get two of them in the set. And they use the same pieces as the 2002 blue version, which after rewatching the movies is more accurate than I initially remembered it to be. You have these arms which just connect to the torso. These can snap off rather easily if you buy older models, just like that. The legs are used on a lot of things like Magna Guards and Commando Droids, and the face, the torso, has the head right here with the little line engraved in. It's a pretty interesting build. Um, and you don't get we don't get too many of them nowadays, and it was easy to get nice to get them in a rather cheap set. So the design for the Hailfire Droid is an interesting one. It is, I believe, downsized from the 2008 version, definitely from the 2003 version, and it's this very interesting system. So they use these really really big dish pieces, which have this nice print going all around them as the wheels. And I think those work okay, because there is not supposed to be any space between here. It is just these treads, there's nothing connecting it. Well, I guess there is stuff connecting it, but there's nothing. That's why they chose a clear thing. And I think it works okay to give that illusion. It doesn't work the greatest, but it works alright. You do have this gun at the front, which you can move up and down. And one thing I'm not a fan of is how it is top-heavy and it leans to the back, even though I think you'd... You'd think it leaned to the front, but no, it leans to the back. At uh, the front, you have these little triangle bits, as well as this eye, if you can just about see. It's red. You get a lot of nice, I think it's medium nougat, or no, not quite. You do get a lot of these nice orange colors in the set. Now, you do have these two big cannons up here, and that's the main play feature of the set. With spring-loaded shooters, you can just press down like this. I said you can just press down like this, and they shoot out pretty far, you can just do the other two as well, they shoot out. Now, I was disappointed when I first built this, I remember this, because they give the illusion that you have eight spring-loaded shooters in the set, and I understand they had to compromise to attach the things to the Hellfire droid, but... I don't know, I think it would have been cool. I think they could have easily found a way to attach it another way, like attaching it by the back. But I don't know, I think having four spring load shooters would have been amazing. On some other little details, you can move these up as you'd like, so you can have it just like this. However, it is probably for the best look, just having it one down like this. And there's not too much else. There is this ball joint at the back, which I don't think holds anything. I think it's just there for decoration. But it could be useful with some other sets from this wave that I'm not too sure about. That I don't know about. But yeah, that's basically it for the build of the Hellfire Droid. It does roll pretty smoothly, and I guess you can hold it from that ball joint. And it rolls pretty damn smoothly, so...
that's it for the build of the Hellfire Droid. Box for this is an interesting almost square box. I think it's just slightly a rectangle. But it's this interesting box that's somewhat thick. And I can't remember any other set this box was used for. And I can only think they used this box because of those big dish pieces. At the back, you do have some other shots of the set. Like, I really liked how they did these back in the day with all the characters at the top. You do have some kind of wacky shots of the clone lieutenant being overpowered. But yeah, that's it for the Hail Fire Droid box. The instructions are like a small pamphlet, which at the back has a checklist for the minifigures of, I think this was the January wave? Of 2015, I own all the battle packs except the Senate Commander one, and I own the T6 Skyhopper and the TIE Advance. There's not really anything else from this wave that I care for other than the Senate Commando's battle pack. So, overall, the Hellfire Droid is a set I have some mixed feelings on. On one hand, you do get a pretty nice Clone Lieutenant and two Super Battle Droids, but on the other hand, the Clone Lieutenant was previously an exclusive figure, and I'm not sure how to feel about that. I'm sure many people who spent a decent amount of money to get that probably feel a bit ticked off by this set. The Hellfire Droid itself is not bad. I don't own any of the previous ones, so I can't say if it's too small or not. I'm not a big fan of how it leans towards the back. And I understand they did have to compromise to have it sta secured stably to the build, but I'm sure they could have found another way to incorporate eight spring-loaded shooters instead of just the four, because that would have been awesome. Just one motion, one way, you could launch four missiles. That would be very awesome for kids. And, and I'd also like, it'd be cool to mess around with just every now and then. So overall, I would give this a 7 out of 10. It's not too expensive to buy second hand, it's about maybe 30 or 40 dollars. So, and that's sealed in the box, mind you. So, if you're looking for just a Hailfire droid, if you just kind of want a clone and some super battle droids to add to, like, a Genosis battle, then I'd recommend getting this. It's not a terrible set. I just, there's a couple little issues I have with it. Anyways, that's it for this video. See you guys later. Peace.